Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bobby, Joe, and Sheena show. Two colleagues, two mindset coaches, just having a good chat. Today, Sheena, Sheena was just going off on a rage, and so I said, just hit play. <laughs> just hit record. What are we going to talk about today? Wow. We think in secret and it comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. And let me tell you, all those thoughts you have in secret are not in secret. So I just thought, imagine that every, so I'm looking after um, a dog and there's like a video camera. And it's like, imagine if you were on a video camera all the time. And so just even monitor your thoughts for one hour. Maybe not if you can't even do that, maybe do it for half an hour and actually ask yourself, do you want this broadcast to the world? Wow. Mm. What thoughts? I mean, just watch them go past and ask yourself, which ones are you getting involved in? Are you getting involved in the nice ones because that's actually being projected out into the world? Or are you getting involved with the ones that are not so nice and then that's being projected into the world? And one of the things I was saying to Bobby Joe is that we're all responsible for the world right now. We can't just blame the leaders or, and these people and that people and that people. We're all responsible. Consciousness. That's what Collective. you are. Well, you know, you're, are you conscious of you? Yes. Well, then you're consciousness. So like, and are you conscious of your thoughts? Yes. Well, why would you let something negative? If we don't think in secret. We think in secret. It comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. So therefore... It's not secret. Yeah. You know, it is. It's a collective consciousness, uh, the collective conscious. And a lot of people don't grasp this yet, at least the older ones, maybe the newer kids coming in, the newer generations, they might gravitate and find us and be like this. But, you know, there's a lot of crappy things that are happening in the world for sure. But what can we do? Unless you're going to take action, don't bitch about it, you know? Unless you're going to take action and go give money or go over there and help or do what you can, then why bitching about it five times to everybody is going to do something. I talk about this at my spiritual center. You said something, though, back there, uh, Sheena. It's selfish to have a thought that's um, in an alignment. And I thought that was so good. Yeah, you want to be in alignment. And I do that. As I drive around, no lie. <laughs> Especially like this past week, for whatever reason, I'm in the metaphysics class and I we're reading about the subconscious and I just laugh. It's everything that I coach, <laughs> but it really makes me go. I am consciousness. I am consciousness. I'm driving around the road, driving down the road. I am consciousness. I am the divine consciousness mind, like everything I think we're creating. So do you really hear what Sheen is saying when you say that, you know, the environment is but our looking glass? It's because everything that you're thinking you're setting up. But there's one thing I want to say here, and Sheena doesn't know. I hurt my knee. I'm not sure how I worked out last Monday. Tuesday, it kind of felt tweaked behind my right knee. Wednesday, a little bit more. So Thursday, I worked out thinking moving it will do it. Well, Friday and then Saturday, it's ballooned up. And I've been icing it. I've been heating it and icing it and heating it. And I went to the spiritual center yesterday, and nobody thought I would be there because I wasn't speaking and I wasn't on the podium. And, you know, it was really interesting to see people, how they come up to you and go, oh, Oh, I hope it's not this because I had that. And I go, why, if you could have a thought, do you not just think as he, for me, I say to Fred, I'm just going to wake up and it's going to be gone as soon as it came on, as soon as it's going to go. Why do we, are we programmed to just think the complete worst? And why would you have a conversation with somebody? Like when somebody tells me I'm in a book club and the man had cancer in the mouth, so we can't talk. And I just said, you know what? I see you as perfect in perfect health guy. I see you in perfect health and jabbering up and talking away again. You know, instead of going, oh, no, you're never going to talk. And blah, blah, blah. I mean, why? So it's just learning to be conscious, the awareness of what we're thinking, of what we're feeling and turning it around and knowing that every thought, everything that comes out of your mouth is a choice, a decision that are you going to choose wisely and choose to create energetically positively? So that's all I really have to say. It's a collective consciousness of all. And something happens to someone. Why do you think the negative... <laughs> I just couldn't believe it was out of that man's mouth. And I'm thinking, how do I address this next week when I do stay, speak on the post, I do speak? <laughs> how do I, because I, I say these things over and over yet, but people are not listening with two ears. They just can't grasp it. And I think because these people are also in their 70s, they're so ingrained in their, their hikes. Think how every morning you've been hiking out in those beautiful mountains, you know, and just you, you're taking a path and it's just automatic. We get up and we go up that path every day, the same way we've been thinking. And it takes a lot of consciousness and awareness to figure out, oh God, I've been doing that. Let's switch it. And you don't beat yourself up.
That's all I have Yeah, to say. it's just the watching of it. Like you say, if they were actually watching what they were saying. I mean, lesson lesson um, eight was all about praxis in, in um, Bob Proctor's thinking into results. And that's literally, yes, you know it, but you're not doing it because you, you you know it whenever you're talking about it with somebody else. But then as you go through your day, you're not staying awake. You're not staying aware of what's coming out your mouth. It's just in complete opposite to what you've been preaching about you know and something else and that's what we do to people isn't it you know we say do this do this do this but then we go off and we do something different so it is literally just um just watching what, what's coming out your mouth but on that note about you know like people saying oh that's what i do i mean jesus in the bible didn't go oh poor you he went get up leper get up <laughs> He yeah. didn't. He didn't go. Oh, poor you. You know. <clears throat> you know something. Blah. Yeah. He just went. Get up. Stand up and walk. And that's when we can start to do that. But we think, oh well, that's not caring. Yes, it is more caring to do that. This the gift that I can give somebody. So, um, this this morning, or I guess you can't really see this with the dog, but with um with another dog, um Zeus, my son's dog. And his hip had literally gone out and he could he couldn't walk. We don't know what had happened, but I reikied him and I sat there, but I'm not healing him. What I was seeing in my mind was him running down the road. I could see him running. And so mm -hmm. in that time that he was able to lie there and I just put my hands on him and rested him, that just offered him that space, then that's what we saw. And literally two, he could hardly walk the next day. And I was saying again, I see you running down the road, Zeus. I see you running down the road. My goodness, yes, the next day. I didn't think it would happen that quick, Bobby Joe, but yeah, I didn't go out with a lead and he ran down the road. <laughs> I had to run after him. And I was just like, well, that was going to work that quick. <laughs> so this is what we... <laughs> This is what we do. So it's like to see Bobby Joe's knee is absolutely fine. And if she concentrated on her left knee, which was working really well, they did this actually, you know, with um, with hands, somebody's hand, they'd been in a stroke or something. And so they mirrored the hand. So they moved their opposite hand in the mirror and it looked like it was the hand that wasn't moving. And it stimulated the brain to go, oh, my hand, I can move it, I can move it. So it was just given that positive thought. So mm -hmm. um, yes, we think in secret. It comes to pass, environment is but our looking glass. You don't like it? What would Bob Proctor say? Change it. Yeah, do something about it. One thought at a time, she was going to say. Have, be conscious of what you're creating. If you're bitching and moaning about your life, it's you're, you're doing it. You're solidifying it. You're like, but it's the facts. It's a weird way to think when you first get into this. And you go, okay, it's the facts. So you start small. And, you, and it is it is a roller coaster Excellent. ride it's highs and lows but you know what it's super simple but it's not easy and that always just super simple work having awareness day by day that's why you keep tuning into us like us subscribe to us we keep going and leave us a comment love you all here you and i